talking with us this morning. Commander, if I could address the first question to you. We talk about the loss of the Spartan. NASA managers have now concluded there is no second chance for deployment. Are you a little bit disappointed this didn't turn out the way we wanted? Well, uh, sure, we're always a little bit disappointed if uh, we don't get the full mission accomplishment. But uh, we did retrieve the satellite after uh, the little glitch we had on flight day two. And so the important thing is we're bringing Spartan back down to Earth and it'll get to fly another day. Specialist Scott, the Spartan satellite was important for a lot of different reasons, including observations to help improve the accuracy of another satellite. How big a setback do you think to come home with no data on board? Well, I'm sure it's somewhat of a satellite, but uh, not to be flip or facetious, we think that it's more important to get the spacecraft back get it back safely, refurbish and flag again. I mean, after all, the sun will be there, and we don't want to risk losing the satellite altogether. It is interesting, Commander. This is the first time we've had a chance really to talk with you about what has happened with it. NASA has said they aren't quite sure why we did lose the satellite, that a signal was not received. Have you up there been able to talk amongst yourselves, find out what didn't go right with Spartan? Uh, we're really not sure, and we'll wait till we have all the facts on on the ground. Um, it didn't do its uh, normal programming, and then we gave it a little slight uh, bump uh, when we were retrieving it, and uh, th that put it into a spin. Uh, but we'll wait till we get all the facts and talk to all the folks on the ground and put the story together. I imagine astronaut Shavla is uh, a little bit disappointed as well that it didn't go the way she had hoped. Uh, Casey's a trooper. She's a, a very good operator and very good mission specialist, and she takes it as part of the job. Do you know if the command was sent, or uh, uh, NASA was telling us from Houston that possibly the computer did not send that command at all? We don't know. Somehow the command didn't get sent. How that uh, occurred, we're really not sure at this time. Okay, for astronaut Scott, you and your Japanese compatriot, Takao Doi, spent eight hours walking in space actually last week to retrieve Spartan to carry out some of the other tests. We did cancel a few tests though. Would you like to go back out again? NASA I know has not yet made that decision. Would you like to take another crack at it? Well, I'll tell you what, I don't think there's an asteroid anywhere that would not jump at the chance to go outside and uh, if they should decide to do it, the cow and I are ready to go. We accomplished, I think, most of the uh, EDFT or the uh, EVA objectives. There are a few things that we could do if we went back out, and uh, we keep our fingers crossed they'll give us another opportunity. Tell me about this small uh, basketball-sized camera that you would have taken out there and taken a look at. Give me, give me a quick thumbnail about the camera itself. Sure, it's called uh, AirCam Sprint. It's a little bigger than a basketball, about the size of a medicine ball, I guess. It has two cameras inside. It also has a, a, a controlling system. It's flown much like you fly a radio-controlled airplane. I would have released the Sprint from outside the shuttle, and our pilot, Steve Lindsay, would have piloted it from here on the flight deck. He had a test program written up of certain uh, procedural, uh, certain data points he would have taken. Obviously, this camera would uh, beam back photos or, or pictures, television pictures of the outside of the shuttle and of course it would be useful in inspecting the outside of a space shuttle or space station or what, it, what have you. Not to forget our guest Leonid Kadenyuk from the Russian space program. <clears throat> Excuse me, sir. I know this is your first shuttle flight. You trained for so many years on the Russian shuttle to go up there. You are working with the growth of plants. I know that later this afternoon you're going to be talking to school children here in the United States. Tell me a little bit about the project you're working on and what you hope to tell the kids.
Ольга, 11 Б клас, середньої школи номер 71, міста Києва. Працюючи з рослиною Брасіка Рапа, чи розмовляєте my time close to this plant. I even sleep close to it. And you, and you know, here on the orbiter, you can sleep whenever you, wherever you want, even on the ceiling. Or on the wall. How long will the experiment with the Brassica Rapa last? 
This experiment starts before the flight. And the plant grows for 14 days altogether. And it, as you know, Brassica wrapa, the cycle is uh, rather short. That's why it lives 14 days on the ground prior to the flight. And then we send it up to the space. And this experiment will last even after the flight as well, where we will compare the results of the growing process in space as opposed to what's going to happen on the ground afterwards. And it will last for another month on the ground. What other experiments are you conducting presently? On top of Brassica Rafa experiment, we run some other experiments, primarily with soybeans and some other plants. I have run a couple of more experiments that are over by now. At least my part of those experiments are over. We are growing some plants on the orbiter, and we are trying to assess the uh, growing process. Резник Володимир міста Луганськ літає на земних мов. Скажіть, будь ласка. What are the future applications of the results of this research, of this experiment? From the technical point of view, the experiment was prepared in the most excellent manner. The flowers are being grown in a special box. And the experiment goes on very successfully. The entire environment in the box is being monitored by the computers, including temperature and all the environmental parameters. There are special devices used in order to monitor the process of growing of the plant. There is also a freezer in, involved where we freeze the samples.